Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome back to another story time with Mr. Kepke. We have a wonderful book for you this evening. It's from the creators of The Bad Seed, and it's called The Good Egg. A wonderful book, good character book for you this evening. Sit back, snuggle in. I hope you get ready for a good night's rest. The Good Egg. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things. Like, I'll carry your groceries. I'll water your plants. I'll change your tires. I'll paint your house. And if you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start. Even in my earliest days, there were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums and they cried for no reason. And they broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care, though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. Somebody even stuck a kick me sign on his back. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. You ever felt like the good egg? You ever felt like you're trying to fix everything and all the pressure is killing you and your brain is scrambled? I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and the other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in the bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they explained. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days. The days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Out there, on the road, under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. The egg is taking some time for a little self-care. Sometimes we get so worried about everybody else, we forget about our own selves. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, I breathed out. I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I 
I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Here we go. He's walking into the market again to go back to the eggs. Everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, yo, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? How do you do, other Frank? Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, but I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. That is the end of our story about the good egg. I'll dedicate this book to my son who walked in in the middle of reading this morning. It's about the good egg. Sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to try to fix everything and to try to hold things together. But the main thing that you need to realize is that you need to take some time for yourself as well. You need to take some time for some self-care, to reflect on your day and to do some nice things for yourself while you're trying to do nice things for other people. We hope that you have an absolutely wonderful night, and I love each of you very, very much.